This is our 2017 Winnebago View 24V, and it's for sale. I thought I'd make you a quick video, shaky though it is, to give you some insights as to what the unit has to offer. I built a slide out in the first bay, so you could put heavy things like case of water, ice maker, things like that on there. That's in the bay with the Xantrex 1000 watt inverter. Then right next to it is the Onan Onan Cummins 3600 LP generator does a great job. You can run everything in the coach with that The next bay over is the wet bay or I call the wet bay. That's where I put anything like oh wet swimsuits wet towels things like that any extra fluids I might be carrying um, Above that is this huge storage space and this is where I keep the chairs and the and the walking canes poles and things like that in there on the ladder in the back going up to the fiberglass roof, of course, there's the camera. I put a light uh, up there so that whenever you put it in reverse, not only does the camera come on, but that lights up the entire behind the RV. It's a nice thing to have. These outriggers I designed and put on myself, um, they're two extra two-inch receiver hitches with those L brackets in it. And they're mounted to the trailer, uh, to the tow bar itself. Uh, and when you put a cargo carrier or scooter whatever across there, it doesn't move. It doesn't twist or swivel In the first bay is, is your uh, shore power and water hookups city water hookups um, The cords hanging out because I had it plugged in and I just unplugged it Everything's in one place the next bay over is not a bay on most Winnebago's I saw somebody had said it had hinges so I opened it took the screws out and I made it into the storage place for my blackwater flush hose and my sewer hose in the little uh, fence post down there very convenient Just keeps you from having to put it in another bay this is your your one of your tanks your holding tanks bay you'll notice it has tank heaters on it it's also where you fill up your propane um, if you're going on a trip, that's where you fill it up. The next bay over is one of the biggest, other biggest bays on there. I store my satellite dish receiver and stuff in there, antenna. It's also where the slide controllers are. Uh, get quite a bit of stuff in that bay. Of course, this unit does have slide toppers on the one slide that it does have that houses the, the sleeper sofa or the recliners like I have. Of course, it is on the Mercedes chassis, and it just drives beautifully. It does have two electric steps that come out. You can turn them off so they'll stay out so they don't go in and out the whole time you're coming and going. Uh, if you do put it in drive or start the engine and put it in gear, it's going to go back in automatically in case you forget. There you have your awning out and your awning light and awning in. Your full all coach uh, batteries, you can turn them off. The red switch locks the steps out so they don't come in and out all the time. And there goes the awning. Just so you'll get an idea. It's a nice big awning. And, and I'm telling you, down here in the south, if you hadn't figured out that's where I'm from, you need that awning. Nothing like shade. And that big storage space holds a nice size fan. Those really nice muggy days. There's the lights under the awning. My camera is before the cameras that were self-stabilizing. And of course, I'm not very stable either. Inside, you'll see where I replaced the couch with two recliners. And I'm going to show you a little bit of something over here. There's the coach radio. There's my monitor it is got a hardwired surge guard protector on it but I still like to see where my power is a lot of the lighting for inside the coach is right there so you can turn it on when you come in and go out there is a powered skylight don't use that too much it just seems to be a bug trap to me it's nice to know when the sun comes up though and then close the close the shade that's on it there's a grab bar on the outside and a grab bar on the inside and there's a grab bar on the screen door so plenty of grab bars to get in and out you have a double stainless steel sink 
it's really nice even as a paper towel holder convection microwave nice TV there is storage behind the television for your electronics there is the double recliners their wall away recliners and the slide is in those are just so you can see that it's fully functional going down the road the recliners will fully recline while it's going down the road and they do have seat belts I put this little pocket holder on the ladder it's hanging on the ladder and it's good for shoes and flashlights and anything you just want to stick there that you might want to grab when you go out the door we use it a lot for shoes up front of course wonderful navigation system it's huge I love it even my old self can see it very comfortable seats weather tech floor mats custom made for that Sprinter 3500 my my custom made arm rest for the Remy blinds because it is plastic it's kind of hard so you just stick that on there it feels great it just pops right off whenever you want to close the close the blinds the Remy blinds are wonderful you just slide them closed they go all the way around the cab and just effortless as far as putting them up and closing them I have replaced a mirror in this unit so you have a mirror to see backwards because they don't come with one I put a big one so you can see everything we've got daytime shades and blackout shades for at night I also have a weather station in there there's a air conditioner heater control it's just like at home there's a light mm -hmm. and there's the air conditioner 15,000 BTU uh, and also a heat pump there's a look down the hallway from the kitchen back to the sleeping area the, the V does have the twin beds there's the stove double burner stove top that I don't think we have ever used the two little hooks that I have up there are command hooks they'll come off very easily but we have our Keurig stays there with the little bungee around it stays put the whole time we've never lost it yet it's a good thing that is a Norco three-way refrigerator it will run down the highway it works off your your batteries if you're parked and plugged in it runs off AC uh, if you're not if you're dry camping it'll switch over and run off of your propane tank up here is the control center there's my charge controller from a hundred watt uh, solar panel on top of the of the unit all you have to do is back out in the Sun and you're you're working does a great job that's the one place uh, monitor that tells me what my tank levels are what my battery levels are I turn the water pump on from there I can turn the, <clears throat> the electric heat or propane heat for the water heater it is a six gallon water heater but we have never run out of hot water on the other side is my remote uh, for the Xantrax 1000 watt inverter it has a slide control button up above it there's also a a button that turns on your heating your heating elements in your tanks and an emergency shut off for the propane those three are all together right there that's the HWH hydraulic lifts that are levelized the coach that is the best thing I think they've ever made another shot of the the control panel it's it's really nice to be able to work that from inside the coach instead of outside that's my favorite picture with 15 miles to the gallon usually it runs between 13 and 15 and that's towing my trailer there's a little fan uh, works off of temperatures in the back it's in the bathroom and sucks air through the bathroom um, there's a little custom shelf that I built that stays with the unit another view down the little hallway and what I like about the hallway is you can get to all the cabinets in the back and there is a ton of interior storage back there in the back you may not like our taste in bedspread so I'll show you what it looks like without them there's those recliners and the little tables there is a table that goes there and up between the two driver seats but we prefer these little tables here because they are so convenient and they slide around when you're not using them you just move them out of the way instead of having to get move that big table there's the closed closet it's in the hallway going back towards the beds 
And then underneath that is a small pantry area with slide out drawers. And the one shelf above it. Looks like I better stock up. There's that refrigerator, the freezer part. That ice has been in there since last trip. There's some of the drawers, full slides, of course. A lot of stuff in there. Holds a bunch of stuff. And again, there's the video portion of the shelf I made to go under the sink. We keep our frying pans and things like that under there. And the full RV water filter there. There's a little room, perfect little place for that. Now we're going to go back here in the back. Oh, no, we're going to the bathroom first. Okay. There is the shower. It has a self-cleaning shower door that retracts up in there. Foot flush toilet. There's another shelf I made for that odd-shaped little cabinet underneath the sink, which is also stainless steel. Two medicine cabinets, his and hers. That's really nice. There's a picture of my pretty face. That's kind of scary. That's the curtain that goes, shuts off the bedroom. There's the cabinets back in the bedroom, and there it is nothing but space. They did a great job. I mean, they utilized every inch of space except that outside bay, and I did that. See, it just goes on and on. And the last row, I, I think I'm, yeah, I'm going to open these. Uh, we keep our towels and linens and things like that because there's plenty of room elsewhere for all the other stuff there's the television there you see it popping up in the back and it's 12 volt emergency exits there's little AC plugs on both sides that do work off the inverter there's the big old briefcase full of manuals it is a Froley sleep system in this one. It does have the little things. I forgot to pick up the mattress and show you, but that's his and hers drawers, which we really like. That slides out, and another pillow goes in there, and that makes one big gigantic bed back there. I will tell you, it's hard to make. There is one of the seats turned around they both turn around and have cushions to make them the same level so your knees aren't up in your face there's the overhead bunk we use that 99.9% .9 of the time for storage we put a little Tupperware uh, things up there and we keep the breads and anything food wise it does have a soft touch ceiling I think that's nice it really keeps the noise down inside it rides quiet down the road except for the normal RV rattles and I don't care what you're driving you're gonna rattle Whew. that wall is solid I challenge you to push on a wall like that in another RV that wall is solid there it is in its little parking place with the doors open. And yes, that is carpet in there uh, with my scooter on the back. You can wiggle that scooter and it will not budge. There's a better picture of the overhead bunk. There we are at the Buffalo living large. There's a picture of the couch and it looks just like that. I still have it. It's at the furniture store and it's wrapped up and stored. There we are. I don't have a clue where we are in that picture, but come check out our RV. I've got it listed on RV Trader, and there's the number of the ad that it is, or you can email me at that address. Thank you for looking.